is where you started your day? This is where I started the day, May 2nd, 1963. James Stewart was just 15 when he first descended these steps, one of a thousand children who were determined to protest the city's segregation laws, a social code Birmingham would not give up easily. We said enough is enough is enough. We're not living with this. When they brought the dogs and the water hoses out, that was a greater weapon that they were deploying. So for me, it was wartime. Those water hoses were held by Birmingham firemen. Arnetta Streeter Gary was there too. She was 16. Seeing these images at the Birmingham Civil Rights Museum brought it all back. I still remember that water. I don't think I will ever forget that water. When you were run, they had the dogs waiting. I thank the Lord that they did not put the dogs on me. The protest became known as the Birmingham Children's March. Adults had been warned not to protest or they would lose their jobs. Instead, their children, 12 to 18 year olds, organized and filled the streets. They were trying to march a half a mile from the 16th Street Baptist Church to City Hall. Only a few made it. I just could not believe that children were being treated like that. That was just so dehumanizing. But when the images of the children being attacked made global headlines, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., city officials, and President Kennedy negotiated a truce. One week later, Kennedy announced the deal on national television. The city of Birmingham has committed itself wholeheartedly to continuing progress in this area. Progress meant Birmingham would desegregate its public facilities. We were being abused and no one was paying attention and nonviolence proved to be, I think, a much more powerful weapon than violence. We felt victorious, in a sense. A victory that was felt far beyond Birmingham. The children's sacrifice helped pass the Civil Rights Act the following year and forever changed the nation. Michelle Miller, CBS News, Birmingham.